Turn on slash off Bluetooth radio slash adapter from CMD slash PowerShell in Windows 10. Such a simple task, one would say, and I haven't found a satisfiable solution. What I've tried, with music playing through a Bluetooth connected speaker to really know the state of the radio. Using DevCon as admin, DevCon disable USB backslash vid underscore 8087 and amp, vid underscore 07 DC and amp, rev underscore 0001, which is the HW of my Bluetooth adapter, requires reboot to work. Using PowerShell as admin, disable NetAdapter Bluetooth Network Connection 3, which is translation of the name of my Bluetooth adapter. It disables the PAN driver, but a Bluetooth speaker continues playing music. Using Net as admin, Net stopped surf, doesn't actually turn off the radio, VT speaker continues playing music. Using Net, the most relevant page on MSDN doesn't say a word about turning the adapter on slash off. Using Explorer, MS Settings column Bluetooth, or, Explorer.exe% percent local app data percent backslash packages backslash windows dot immersive control panel underscore CW5N1H2 XUE backslash local state backslash indexed backslash settings backslash CSCZ backslash triple underscore A underscore settings page system Bluetooth dot setting content MS, opens the Bluetooth settings panel, but I still have to click on the toggle. I can't believe Microsoft would be so ignorant to not provide such a command. This is challenging because of the necessary interoperation with Win, but it is possible in pure PowerShell. To use it, save it as a PS1 file, for example, Bluetooth.ps1. If you haven't already, follow the instructions in the Enabling Scripts section of the PowerShell Tag Wiki to enable the execution of scripts on your system. Then you can run it from a PowerShell prompt like this. To turn Bluetooth off, pass off instead. To run it from a batch file, Caveat, if the Bluetooth support service is not running, the script attempts to start it because otherwise, when will not see Bluetooth radios. Alas, the service cannot be started if the script is not running as administrator. To make that unnecessary, you can change the startup type of that service to automatic. Now for some explanation. The first three lines establish the parameters the script takes. Before beginning in earnest, we make sure the Bluetooth support service is running and started if not. We then load the system.runtime.windows runtime assembly so that we can use the Windows Runtime System Extensions task method to convert Windows style tasks, which net slash PowerShell doesn't understand, to net tasks. That particular method has a boatload of different parameter sets which seem to trip up PowerShell's overload resolution, so in the next line we get the specific one that takes only a result for win a task. Then we define a function that we'll use several times to extract a result of the appropriate type from an asynchronous win a task. Following that function's declaration, we load two necessary types from win metadata. The remainder of the script is pretty much just a PowerShell translation of the C hash code you wrote in your answer. It uses the radio win class to find and configure the Bluetooth radio.
After giving up to seek for ready-made solutions, I found out that the Universal Windows platform apps have access to the Radio Control API. So I merged a sample Radio Control app with a command line controlled app, and the result is here, this URL. It's published on Windows Store. In general, it isn't possible to just let the app run in background, so you need to first launch the GUI, and then you can call it from the command line like. The core features that this app needs are Then you also need to add the radio's capability to the app manifest. And to allow control from command line, you need to override method, protected override async void unactivated iactivate eventargs args, in app.saml.cs and do the processing in a branch like this. This auto hotkey script seems to do the trick. I am bothered by the sleep there but it seems the window becomes active before it is ready to receive my keystrokes. Cross posted to this URL to figure out what that, sleep 300, could be replaced with. How about using Qdle? does not require reboot.